What's up guys and welcome back to another EVE Online video. It's Capture Lear Day 2024 and we are out and about in our Heron taking a look at the exploration uh, activities that you can do in Capture Lear Day. So the, the nice thing about this one um, is they've completely changed the Capture Lear Day event. This is the first time they've done, done this version of it. Um, and they've based it, it's very similar in term, in how the activities work to the um, Doctor Who crossover event they did a couple of years ago, for those of you that remember that. So the basic premise is we can do combat and hacking sites, entry level, very, very easy um, to do and run, um, all across New Eden, uh, including null sec, low sec, high sec, wormhole space, all across New Eden you can find these um, entry-level sites so I've just scanned one down here um, called the desolate collapsed conduit that's the uh, hacking site there's then um, another one which is the combat anomaly um, and you go in and run them and through that process we find um, let's just talk up actually I'll show you um, we can find uh, parts um, that allow us to craft filaments and then those filaments will take us to um, harder content and essentially you follow follow the way up there so I'm just going to dock up so I can show you a couple of the things that um, we've got and then we'll run into this the way I'm going to structure the, the video is actually going to do a little um, short series um, across them so start with the entry level stuff here and then I'll do another video uh, uh, as we move through the different filaments but basically you are looking for kind of these items and the blueprints which are uh, time event based um, filaments and you can then craft the filaments that will then transport you into a Triglavian abyssal pocket to go and do more hacking and stuff um, that's the basic premise of it but then along the way you can find um, other good stuff as well so all of these things um, plus the skins uh, have come from the Eden. Co there's the occasional Edencom can uh, in each site and stuff. Uh, not in each site, but they they're occasionally there, and they've got some decent drops and things. Um, but yes, that's the the basic premise: is we we go and hack these very very easy entry level sites. They are completely accessible to everyone. Um, so if you're brand new to the game day one hacker you can go and do this no problem really easy to scan down and you'll see in a second how easy the hacks are I'm gonna get in there now because this Helios is gonna get in there and I'd like to hack them before him or them um, I'll just mention real quick I'm in a very expensive um, well fit uh, hacking ship it's a buzzard so covert, op covert ops and um, I've got a ligature um, hacking device which is worth like 350 million and I've got a pod so you'll uh, which is specialized for it so this isn't any representative of your hacking necessarily but you can still see how easy it is through here one thing to mention as we as I do this is you'll notice once I've scanned the first can the site will despawn um, so in a in a few seconds it will disappear from here um, so no one else can then come it has scan it down with uh, combat uh, sisters probes although the Helios did manage it hopefully it'll warp off but you see it's gone now um, what that does mean is I am um, I don't like cherry picking generally but on this occasion there is absolutely no reason not to cherry pick whatsoever um, so what you should do he's warped off that's good of him what you should do uh, is fit your ship appropriately so that you have a cargo scanner in your mid slot and then land cargo scan all the wrecks and just um, and just hack the stuff that has has what you need in it the two cans we've just hacked so far are a complete waste of time same with this one complete waste of time um, this is all completely useless stuff honestly um, but yes I am a long way from a market hub um, and I haven't refit to um, 
to, to get the cargo scanner so this is just what it is um, I just hack everything because it doesn't take me very long at the moment still nothing um, but yeah basically what's the what are we doing the law of the event is the Triglavians and the drifters um, have been having um, a big old fight out in abyssal space somewhere and that um, combat has caused some uh, abyssal conduits to collapse and then the remnants are being left here and Society of Conscious Thought have asked Capsuleers to investigate uh, find out what they can and will uh, basically reconstruct materials and go and find out what's going on so the filaments that we are able to build by getting um, items from these sites um, they allow us to then tra uh, travel into the combat areas and find out what's what's been going on I think is the the general idea so here we go this is the first from this can this is what you actually want this is the only useful thing to come out of this site at the moment because they build into the blueprints so while I'm warping over to this one let's just uh, you can go show info and so F24 will go into these um, these blueprints and I'll do a quick description of the blueprints as soon as we hack this there are different tiers so we have gone obviously in the entry level stuff which is just available through scanning and hacking uh, scanning sorry um, you were oh my god super easy for me with this fit but it's just frustrating to have to do more clicks um, there we go so and this is also useful the isolated dimensional thread because that also builds into the stuff so they're the kind of things you're looking for right let's move on from this site for a second and just dock back up and so we can go through the go through the blueprints dock so, as mentioned, there are different tiers for the filaments, but there's also combat filaments and hacking filaments. And so you'll need to be quite careful when building the filaments that you build the ones you want, uh, rel uh, relative to your skill level and to the activity you want to do. So I've been lucky enough to find a few already. Um, a few blueprints and then build stuff. I've been running this for a, mm, probably a total of about four hours so far. Um, so we have ruined electrical filaments and sinister exotic filaments. These are the tier one for the respective paths. The ruined, if you open it up and then we have a look at the actual filament itself, the ruined is suitable for a single exploration or covert ops frigate. So one hacker can go in there and and do uh, do the hacking. The sinister, which I've got a couple down here, can take up to two T1 cruisers. So this is the combat filament. So if you want to do hacking and you build a sinister by mistake, that's unfortunate. You might as well go sell it. But then that's kind of the still entry level. Ruined is really easy. Sinister is supposed to be quite easy. Um, but then you've got other other layers as well. So tier two, you have the devastated electrical, which again is the hacking, but it's the tier two um, hacking. So the some of the elements required to build it, like this for example, the B79, I believe it's much much rarer, and I believe you can only get it from inside the ruined filaments. And so you kind of work your way up like that. So my plan is to build and run a few um, ruins and head on up to the the tiers like that. So that's the basic premise. Uh, so let's just real quick, let's jump into a ruined now. Let's take it with us, jump into a ruined and see what we can find.
just one other thing of note of course these filaments work in exactly the same way as regular abyssal filaments they will leave abyssal traces behind in system while you are um, out and about in your filament so just bear in mind that people will probably can gank them and stuff as well there's no way I think from the outside for them to know whether you're an actual abyssal runner or or just a, an explorer so if you're going to run these near Jita and stuff take the same precautions as you would if you're running regular abyss um, I'm way away from Jita uh, there's nothing going on here and I'm in a point nine so it's a risk but um, yeah I'm just running mine on this on the Sun but don't do that only do that if you're willing to take the risk so here we go, ruined, difficulty is easy, and it's electrical storm, so do do bear in mind that it will impact what happens to your ship. And we have 30 minutes before everything is blown up, including our ship and pod. So bear that in mind. I'm As mentioned, I'm taking a big risk with the ship, but because I'm willing to, you know, it's a half-built ship, and I've got um, black glass implant and stuff really helping out with the hacking. Um, so I'm confident but if you're not confident make sure you're running what you're willing to lose make sure your ship is fast as well because you want to get between all the stuff as best you can and same again um, very much recommend bringing in a um, cargo scanner so you can just scan what's necessary and what's not if you are struggling for time in these sites then you can there are, are gas clouds that um, help you travel faster so I'm uh, there we go that's good so we straight away got a devastated uh, blueprint again um, so what you'll see here is this this cloud um, if you go through it, which you will in a second, gives you a massive speed boost. And so now look at my speed. So I'm actually going to overshoot this hugely, but it gives you a 200% um, velocity bonus. So if you are struggling to get around um, uh, in time, make sure you make use of these clouds in the abyssal space um, to be able to move more quickly. But I still recommend just making sure you've got a fast ship. useless can these Edencom cans are the ones that can have the juicy drops like the the, the genolution implants and some skins and things um, and we're going high speed so I'll turn off my prop mod already um, so these are definitely you want to scan these and make sure you uh, are confident there's nothing in them before ignoring them but the so far I've had one which has been a little bit useless it's had very cheap boosters in it but the rest have been have been pretty nice. So let's see what we get out of this one. Okay, still a nice easy hack. And there you go, very nice. So we've got a 250 million Genolution core implant and a couple of other elements. I don't want the fireworks, they're too big. Um, so that's very nice. You know, this filament's just been worth 250 mil, just like that. Um, but we're going to carry on with our hacking and work our way through the whole thing. And once we've uh, once we've done that and moved through, I will um, show you our total loot from this site at the end. The value is going to be quite, l apart from the 250 million implant, the value is going to be quite low because the items that we want don't currently have a market value because they're kind of brand new and haven't been on the market yet um, they will be traded the mission path um, which I haven't mentioned um, does encourage you to go and trade your items on the market um, tries to force you down that route so that you can collect the points for the skins and things so they will be on the market but for the time being um, they've got no value so the actual ultimate value won't be there but I am looking for that specific item so that I can craft the devastated and then that will be in the next video when I do a devastated so I'm gonna run this and we'll go through what we've got right at the end
All right, and that's the last one hacked. So we're just burning back to the origin conduit to jump us back into case space. Um, not too bad. I got a vicious electrical as well, which is the tier two combat. Um, but and I also got some B6, quite a lot of B66, which isn't the one I needed, but um, is quite useful. It's quite rare. It's available in the high sec sites, sorry, the case base sites, but it's quite rare. Um, but yeah, just to double down on what I was saying about the um, not running this kind of near Jeter without taking care. Um, obviously, I'm running expensive ship and I've got 250 million in loot. If someone wants to just sit on my Abyssal Trace in a, um, you know, a Tech One Thrasher, just to see what comes out the other side, and they see a buzzard, there's like, what? Just shoot it. That you know, their chances are they're gonna be worth more than the they're gonna drop more than the um, uh, the price of the Thrasher. So um, they could get a half million, half billion isk payday for a 10 million Thrasher if they popped out and shot me now. Uh, because also the loot drop has been increased for the duration of Capsule a day so from pvp there's a 75 percent loot drop now so definitely worth them running ganks um, on abyssal traces so do take care and uh, don't do what i do um but that's it guys uh welcome to Capsule a day um i will be continuing to run these i'll be doing devastated and hopefully the tier three as well um and separate videos and we will also be doing uh tech one cruisers through the through the combat arc as well so thanks for watching um and i will see you all in the next one cheers